Hey Rosie here with another online dating tip for you. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are talking about meeting somebody on a dating app and then they insist that you visit them first in their country. This is something that I fight a lot <laughs> on, on TikTok because as much as I try to convince our ladies that uh, first of all it's, it's not really a good idea and another thing is um, going to another country especially when we are talking about european countries talking about uh, the us talking about canada going there to visit somebody that you have never met in person you have just met virtually it's very difficult because the embassy requires physical evidence how do you know this person why are they inviting you to go and visit them and stay in their house who, who, who are they to you okay another thing the reason why i said it's not a good idea a lot of our african ladies they are not financially able to cater for this visit you know if you are financially able to cater for this visit then it's okay you can go because i know a lot of um men could come on my video and say why is it that it's not a good idea for 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 her to travel to my country and yet i'm traveling all the way to africa to go and see her why is it that she cannot come to the u.s to come and visit me why is it that she cannot travel to 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 germany to to um to france to come and and see me um I'm just saying you you need to look at it at it this way because my content first of all is is for for ladies so you as a woman you need to look at it this way this man if he comes to africa obviously he's gonna book a hotel okay he's gonna book a hotel he's gonna cater for everything he's gonna be uh, paying for this trip so he's in charge of his movements and where he's gonna stay and where he's gonna sleep okay but you when you go to his country you are going to stay in his house because you are, you are not financially able to cater for for this visit and this is why i said if you're financially able to book a flight okay you are you are financially able to book a flight and you are able to book your return ticket as well and you are able to uh, book a hotel you are able to cater for for your needs while you're there then you can go you can just book a hotel and then you can go and just have a mini holiday and meet him okay so you are staying in a hotel you 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 don't have to uh stay in his house if things go wrong like you, you don't have a problem because you're just staying in a hotel but if you're staying in his house and things go wrong and you have no money what are you gonna do Okay, first of all, it's not easy to get that visa anyway, but let's just say, you know, uh, something happens and you get the visa. What's going to happen? For me, I feel like it's a, it's a good idea for the first visit. It's a good idea for the guy to come and visit you. And another thing is even culturally, wh when we look at our culture as African women, we don't chase men. I don't know why when it comes to online dating and this whole interracial and intercultural dating we are willing to break a lot of rules okay we are willing to break a lot of rules like even when it comes to uh trust you are, you are so quick to trust this stranger that you have met online you're willing to do anything and this is why people are getting scammed because like somebody is pretending to be a foreigner and then they are telling you oh i have bought you an iphone an ipad i bought you all these things and i'm shipping them to you and you need to pay this money for clearance fee and you are you are going borrowing money from your friends from your family to pay this money because it's a foreigner who have told you that they are sending you gifts so trust is something that you are so quick to trust Okay, and you're so quick to just, you know, be like, yeah, you, you're coming on my page, you're like, oh, I need to apply for a visa. He's going to send me an invitation letter. He's going to cater for the flights. Catering for the flights, it's not even the issue. The issue is you going to stay in his house and you are not, you know, like trying to convince the embassy that this is my boyfriend and i'm going to stay in his house another fight i i have a lot on my tiktok with our women is about um the staying period like the the the, the time you're gonna go and stay in his house 
you want to tell the embassy that you want to go in the US, you want to go to the US and you want to go to, uh, to stay in somebody's house for three months. Doing what? And this is another thing we refuse to educate ourselves on. We refuse to educate ourselves on the fact that things don't operate like that. Like the way we do things in Africa, it's not the same way things are done in this, these countries that you guys are, uh, you know, the men you're dating uh, are from, okay? You cannot go to somebody's house and stay in somebody's house for three months. You cannot even go and stay in somebody's house for, for one month. This is why visas are being rejected. Visitor's visa. You, you are applying for a visitor's visa and you intend to go and stay in somebody's house for three months. Somebody you've never met in person. Like, first of all, it shows you have no ties to your country. You have nothing compelling you to go back to your country. You can just go and sit in somebody's house for three months. Another thing is this person, they're probably not going to have time for you. They're not going to be able to accommodate you for three months because they are busy. They are working. They've got no time for you. The only time they would have is when they take a few days off from work to come and, uh, you know, pick you up from the airport, come and show you around a little bit. Then they have to go back to work. That's how it works, guys. So until you realize how things operate, that's when you'll be able even to get that visa. Even after he comes and visit you for the first visit, of course you can go now and visit him for the second visit because uh, I'm assuming you'll, you'll get a feel of that person and you know, you'll see how it goes. And then maybe you can apply now to go and visit him for the, for the second uh, visit. But I feel like if you tell the embassy you're going to stay in somebody's house for three months, for two months, even for one month, it's not gonna work. <laughs> it's not gonna work, guys. You cannot you cannot tell the embassy you're just gonna go and sit there, sit there doing nothing for three months. Um, but for the first visit, in my opinion, let the guy come and visit you. Let him come and visit you. Why are you chasing people? Why are you chasing men? You are a woman, you are an African woman. Like at her Mukuli fair, guys, you know, the thing, I saw a video the other day and I was like, wow. There's a video where there's this, uh, this man in, in uh, Mombasa, I think. He's in Mombasa and he's been sending uh, a little money to, to girls in Nairobi. And they actually do go to Mombasa to see him. <laughs> and the thing is, when it comes to us African women, if it was an African man sending you money, chances are you are not going to go. Utakula fair, you will not go. But they have been going. And this, this particular, uh, in this video, this particular woman had gone several, several times. Not once. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like when you're dating outside your race and outside your culture, you need to educate yourself about that culture. You need to educate yourself on how things work, okay, in that country. That way, even if you do decide to go and apply for a visa, you will know that uh, you are following the rules, how things actually work. You cannot go and say, I'm staying there for three months. You are going to say, I'm staying there for 10 days, okay? I know people have gotten, I know people have gotten visas, a three month visa, uh, because uh, there was a time I recorded a video about this and uh, I always get opposition. People came in the comments and say, oh yeah, of course I went to the embassy and I got a three month visa. Of course my sister, my cousin, my grandmother's cousin, sister's child went and got a four month uh, visa. I'm just trying to save you. You're going to waste your money. You're going to waste your time. Also, if you were to get the visa, I don't think that's a good idea because you are not financially able to uh, take care of yourself in case things go wrong, in, in case you guys don't vibe because what you're telling each other online, you're lying to one another. You are not being completely honest. Some of the things you're telling each other are actually fantasies. It's only when you meet somebody, then you're like, oh, okay. Also, you get to see, like when you meet somebody, then you get to see, mm, uh, how how is it? How does he smell? <laughs> like, uh, can I be with this person for 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 those three months? You are telling the embassy that you are going to be with somebody for three months. 
let the guy come and visit you for the first visit. Besides, he's supposed to pursue you anyway. Let him make the, the first move of coming to see you and then you can make now the other move to go and see him for the second visit. That is my opinion. You, you know, you can disagree with me in the comment section, but that's my opinion. Um, yes, that's what I think. My name is Rose. Thank you for coming to my YouTube channel today. If you like these types of videos, please consider subscribing. Uh, like this video so it can be recommended to more people so they know how to apply for a visa and also th so they know that they shouldn't actually be making the first visit unless they can look after themselves financially they can book a hotel okay for 10 days or five days you know whatever you can afford so you can be safe <laughs> Thank you for watching and I shall see you on my next one. Bye bye for now.